Hi guys, Sarah here. Today I am going to attempt to color my hair red. So because my hair is so dark and I'm using the overtone vibrant red, it's probably gonna end up more of like a cherry cola color. Um, so I am super excited. I've never tried overtone before, so this is my first time. So let me show you the packaging. It comes nicely packaged, I've already opened this. Um, so nice tissue paper. So here is the daily conditioner and they give you also a two ounce bottle. So in total you get 10 ounces of the daily conditioner. They give you these little gloves and here is what you are supposed to initially color your hair with. And if I can do this with one hand, e. Um, and this is the coloring conditioner that like initially deposits the color. And you're supposed to deep condition with this once a week. So very excited. So I have on a black t-shirt. I actually have it on inside out so that I don't dye it. Um, this is one of like my PJ shirts. And they said that it's more effective if you, yes, um, using gloves apply evenly to dry hair, wait 10 to 15 minutes, rinse and clean, um, want fade free color, use weekly to refresh. So, um, I'm not gonna use gloves because that makes too much sense. Um, so I am going to take off my rings though because I don't want to die though. My husband would not be very happy with me if I did that. So I'm just going to section the top part of my hair up. Nice little, little top knot. Also, I just got my hair cut yesterday. It was like down to here-ish. So in actual, I got like three inches chopped off. So like about there. Um, Cause I had been platinum blonde like two years ago. And it like super damaged my hair because I have fairly dark hair and going that light, not good for your hair. I wouldn't suggest it. Um, so like the last like three inches of my hair were like what was left of the bleached hair that had color over it. So it was super dry, like it felt like straw. So I was like, <sighs> I got married like two weeks ago. I kept my hair long for the wedding photos. Now I can chop it off. Um, and my husband likes it, so that's good. Um, yeah, so we're going to peel this. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. They weren't kidding when they call this vibrant red. Like, sweet Jesus. Like, holy cow. This is like fire engine red. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Do you see this? All right, so, you know, like any logical human being, um, I'm just gonna like dip on in and go for it, all right? Oh my God. All right, so I'm, I don't think I got too much. I'm just gonna like wipe some up. That's still a lot. This looks like ketchup. <laughs> this straight up looks like ketchup. Okay, we're going in on the hair. Also, I am going to use a comb to like comb through my hair after I get like I finish each section to make sure that it's like evenly distributed. Um, but I'm just gonna like really work this into the hair, make sure that it gets nice and covered. This has like a very, like it smells like natural, like you know like those natural hair products? That's what it smells like. Oh yeah, it looks like I just like murdered someone. This is great. Um, should probably cut that part out of the video. All right, next section. Also, a uh, note to self, next time comb your hair before you start doing this because that would make your life easier. All right, should probably get like a little slab burn. All right. Yep, there's that. Oh, oh yeah. I'm just gonna like, sh 
Should make my hands down. All right. Other side. my nail polish also sorry I have you sitting up like in my cabinet on the shelf instead of like actually using a tripod um so you're getting a close-up view of my face also I'm not wearing makeup because I'm lazy all right this is my husband's old towel and he was gonna throw it out because it has bleach stains so I was like you know what Red hair dies and stains a lot, so we're gonna keep that. So you're going in the laundry, and you are being hung up. Oh bam, all right, I'm going to grab a comb. Comb, all right. So I'm going to begin to comb through my hair. There's a freaking fly in here, and it's driving me crazy. Go away. You know, so just making sure that it's saturated every strand of hair. All right, that's beautiful. It's turned like an, when you comb through it, it turns like an orangey color. Can you see that? Yep, all right, I'm just gonna go back in. All right, so what I'm gonna do for the top half of my hair is I'm just going to split it in the middle. And I'm gonna do like one space bun. So I'm just gonna put my hair around the side. I'm gonna be smart this time. I'm gonna actually comb out my hair before putting in the conditioner. And going in. Make sure I get the roots. 
smells really good. Like, I can't complain. Alright, I'm gonna go back into my roots on the back of my hair now. I literally feel like I'm just massaging ketchup into my hair right now. It doesn't smell like ketchup, but it looks like it. Alright, now we got the front section. Let's go! further section this. Um, just going to do that because that looks cute. That's a bigger section than I intended. Oh, holy crap, there's a lot of that. My mom's going to be so proud of me. How she hates natural, like unnatural hair colors. conditioner says that you should also use gloves and apply a generous amount to the hair after shampooing um but again i don't believe in gloves so welcome to more ketchup stand hands all right i'll see you in a bit Bye. so i just finished rinsing my hair out and you can still see some red on my scalp and because my hair is so dark, you can see like a little bit of red tinge, but because my hair is so dark, I don't know if you can actually see the color yet, 
but it does feel incredibly soft so the conditioner it's like a deep conditioning thing so it works i'm not mad so we'll see how it works when it dries so i'll check in with you guys later bye so here is the finished product you can see it is definitely more of like a dark auburn um like it's a really deep red and i really like it i think it's really pretty so i am a fan i think this turned out great thanks for watching bye